Hi guys, we're back. This is Mike McAvoy. He is the EMS coordinator of Saratoga County. Mike, can you tell us why you got into the profession of EMS? Uh, yeah, I started uh, as a uh, EMT back in the era before they had EMT. So I was an MET and uh, that was in late high school. And then in college, it was a college job okay. actually. So. Okay. And um, so what's one incident that solidified your decision of joining? Huh. That's a good question. I would say um, what got me interested in EMS to begin with was uh, when I was about, uh, as I was probably fifth grade, so I was 10, uh, I was waiting for um, some friends to go to school and I saw a dog get hit by a car. And so I was like, sort of uh, got this sense of helplessness mm -hmm. about the how to take care of the dog. And not that that uh, led to my interest in veterinary care, but it definitely um, caused me to have kind of a lifelong interest in how to take care of people when they get hurt okay. or sick. All right, and so what would you say has made an impact on you in this profession? Well, I would say the thing that impacts me the most is all the people I work with. So there is not a group of people that are more uh, sincere and dedicated and caring people yes. than the folks that I work with in EMS and just that that yeah. makes a big impact on me every day yeah. and you could probably understand this like people who work in EMS where we consider each other like one big family absolutely so that yeah. makes sense so what would you say to others about wanting to join if they're thinking about it well um, a couple things. One is that it's not an easy profession, so there are definitely difficult things that happen. Um, it's a 24-7 business, so there's no banker's hours in this business, and uh, it doesn't pay well, and uh, people do it both for pay and do it as volunteers, and I think even people who are paid often volunteer time. So it's not the greatest uh, profession to make a lot of money or to uh, feel really good about what you do every day, but I think the opportunity to contribute to helping other people in some of their worst moments of their lives is uh, a sufficient reward for making it all worthwhile, really, and the people that you get to work with. Yep, I would have to agree with that. So where do you see yourself in five years? Well, that's a good question. I would <laughs> say, like, in, in my gut reaction to that is I see myself as retired, but uh, I think my friends would say that will never happen. <laughs> so I uh, probably will still be doing what I do now, and I work as a paramedic supervisor, and I do a lot of writing and speaking, and I think I'll probably uh, still be doing that. And I often say that uh, on the ambulance as a paramedic, I uh, have this resistance to having a young whip snapper taking my place so uh, I'll probably be doing what I'm doing in five years so 
we are at the initial assessment conference in Lake Placid, and you're here as a speaker, a teacher, right. for today. So what's one of the topics you'll be talking about? So I did a talk a little while ago before lunch called The Future of EMS, okay. and the question is, will EMS have a future, mm -hmm. and what's that future going to be? And I think that's a really important thing for us to understand now. There's a bunch of things happening in uh, medicine and healthcare and EMS that are significantly impacting what we do. So, for example, Uber and Lyft, when uh, they come into a community, the EMS calls start to drop in the community when Uber and Lyft come in. Their business model is something we need to pay attention to yep. in EMS, and their technology, the things that they do, uh, the app shows you where they are. We need apps that show where ambulances are. We need the ability to do things as smoothly and efficiently as they do. And then, uh, in healthcare in general, we probably are going to find ourselves in a situation where we have to take advantage of changes in technology to improve the way that we provide the care that we provide and some of those things are going to be in the way that we document the way that we use artificial intelligence to make decisions for us the equipment that we carry all kinds of things that as technology evolves if we're not using those technologies in EMS to evolve ourselves we're going to get left in the dust yeah it's very true very true we have to stay with the times at this point so thanks, Mike, for meeting with us today and talking to us. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Assessment coming at you soon.